Do you think it's this kind of overcompensation that's been making things difficult in the bedroom? Oh, I don't compensate. I procreate. Three kids. Okay. Weird brag. Look, just take the book. Nobody cares. Hey, I just saw this. I think you have my book. Oh, really? <laughs> Told ya. But you're not even married, Scully. I'm in a committed relationship, and Cindy Schatz says I'm a selfish lover. All right, well, what about the protein powder? I'm trying to get ripped. I drink like six shakes a day, but nothing's happening. Do you also exercise? What? You're supposed to exercise? Uh, you know, keep the powder. I'll drink normal milkshakes. And you thought that was my book. <laughs> Shame on you, Amy. Shame on you. You got the book? You should know things are good with Sharon. I just want to make sure we're as happy in our relationship as we can be. That's nice, Sarge. Sorry you had to embarrass yourself. Not a big deal. I guess I just don't care what other people think of me. That's actually pretty inspiring. I wish I was more like that. Yeah, oh, Phil, excuse me. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You're not gonna wait for me to leave? Like I said, I just don't care. Well, Garrett, our time is up. Shall we pick up here next week? <sighs> no, I can't go. There's still someone left inside that wants to talk. Do you mean Satchel, the gentle African-American man who was born in 1908? Oh, no. You know what, Satchel? Probably shouldn't come out right now. Or ever, for that matter. Garrett, I can only help you if you open up. And Ando Frayne escaped through the tunnels of Shawshank Prison. He was my friend. Are you just doing Morgan Freeman? Ah, yes! And you calling me on it just gave me a major breakthrough. I'm cured! Anyway, deuces, Doc. I've got you now, you son of a bitch. Hello, Parker. Ah! You really thought you could sneak around my office without me noticing, huh? How'd you know I was in there? Your shampoo left an odor. I could smell you. I knew it. You're a Hannibal. Pull over right here. Cut the engine. Why are you doing this? Because you found my notebooks, and I assume you've deduced what I did to Susan and James. You killed James, too? Oops. I guess you only deduced the Susan part. But it doesn't matter. You never would have thought that James was a suspect. He was such a kind and gentle man. So why did you kill them? Well, because they were going to tell people about my affair with Susan and ruin my career. I knew it. I had to do it for the sake of my other patients. You know, there are a lot of people who depend on me for their well-being. Yeah, well, except for the ones that you murder. That's only happened twice. It's happened before? The Rothmans, nobody misses them. You really are a terrible therapist. Oh, wow. Strong words for someone who is...